4, 12 News is working to keep you safe after a new report from the CDC says a polio-like disease has been found in eight states so far this year. And that's coming off of last year when the CDC says we saw 233 cases, two of which happened right here in Arizona, and the number of cases is on the rise. Team 12's Lisa Nico joins us live from the Alert Center with an East Valley girl who survived the illness that can sometimes be deadly. Lisa? Lily Hill of Queen Creek, she spent the last year recovering from what's commonly called a polio-like illness. And while the now 11-year-old has made huge strides in her recovery, some other patients will not be so lucky. It was on Father's Day and I just, it, my legs felt like jello and they started to sting and they were like pins and needles. At just 10 years old, Lily Hill experienced a pain like she'd never felt before. How did that make you feel? Sad. That I couldn't be like the other kids. Her mom, Natalie, took her to the hospital where they had multiple diagnoses. Was she sick with the flu? Was she sick with a cold? And she, I mean, obviously she had some sort of virus in her body, but there were no outward signs of that before ultimately determining it was acute flaccid myelitis, an illness that attacks the system, causing young victims to literally drop to their knees in a matter of hours. But the difference, according to the CDC, is that this AFM is showing up in more and more kids, 11 so far this year across America. It came out of nowhere. We had no signs or symptoms. Now, Natalie and Lily speaking out about the illness to hopefully figure out how it started. I guess the most frustrating part is that there isn't a lot of information. And how to keep it from spreading. And have you learned anything through this experience? Yes, that I'm way more important than I think I am. Again, there are no cases in Arizona so far this year, but we did see two last year. Go to the new 12 News app right now and click as seen on TV for the warning signs to look for in your children in order to keep your family safe. We're live in the Alert Center. Lisa Nico, 12 News. Lisa, thank you so much.